just I think it's tremendously exciting the fact that it's the technology is moving so fast. And Dylan, thank you for being here today. Thank My you. first question for you is, how did you get into producing? Uh, well, I went to film school. Uh, I went to undergrad at UNLV and mm -hmm. started making student films there. Uh, I then went to AFI, uh, where I was involved in several AFI films. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was really after AFI when I um, had various jobs in the industry before I settled into a management company. I was assistant to the head of the company for a while. Um, spent enough time to where I was able to start working with the clients and it was there that I started collaborating with a writer-director that I had gone to AFI with, mm -hmm. started um, helping her develop her script, sent it out to some buyers, got some meetings for her and it became apparent that it wasn't going to sell but that the best thing for her would be for us to make the film. So that's when I jumped on board as a producer and it took us a good six years to make the film, but we, uh, we premiered at Sundance. We got wow. distribution, uh, went to about 40 festivals around the world. And um, so from there, I went on to produce a few other projects. I co-produced a short recently that starred Lou Ferrigno, Ed Asner. Mm -hmm. And um, that's still going strong in the festival circuit. The superhero? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I've done a few other things. I've done some line producing. Um, through Modern Video Film, I have line produced a handful of productions that we do for the LA Opera as well as the LA Philharmonic. Mm -hmm. So the head of Modern is a big opera fan. So whenever uh, they need productions, they call upon us and, mm -hmm. and I'm always a part of those. Um, so it was really just a matter of uh, wanting to be in the industry and kind of going the direction that uh, opened up for me. Mm -hmm. So, As an actor, I feel most actors agree with me when they say that they're intimidated by producers. Uh, how would you describe the ideal relationship with an actor and a producer and what an actor can do to help a producer and not overstep their line? You know, um, it's, a, it's a collaboration, so mm -hmm. um, uh, professionalism is great on, on both sides and, you know, I think it's, um, I, I recommend actually, I, I encourage my students to familiarize themselves with all aspects of, of the process. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think for an actor to know about producing is good and, and vice versa for a producer to know what an actor goes through is good. Uh, but I think really someone who's professional at, and uh, you know passionate about their craft is gonna do fine you know and um, take the opportunities as they come and when they do come do as good a job as possible and you know uh, be somebody that that people want to work with you know be a nice person um, because um, people will, you'll find that your network, you know, as you, the longer you stay in the business, hopefully your network kind of moves up and, you know, um, maybe uh, you may not work with someone tomorrow, but maybe mm -hmm. in two years they'll remember you and call on you and you'll have that opportunity. So really it's just making a good impression and, and being professional. Right. So, As you know, digital media is sort of taking the foreground. As a producer and someone who teaches and has done post-production, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on digital media? Um, it's great. It's extremely exciting. Um, you know, when I went to undergrad, it was all film and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, digital was not even really on the horizon. But now, um, I just, I think it's tremendously exciting, the fact that it's, the technology is moving so fast and, you know, cameras are getting better and better mm -hmm. and cheaper and cheaper. And um, to take that into the distribution world, you know, um, back when I went to school, it was, it was either theatrical distribution or direct to DVD and, and now there's all kinds of new platforms and new uh, new venues and you know um, everyone's out there trying to monetize these online distribution platforms and so I think more than anything it's extremely exciting mm -hmm. and uh, one thing with modern video film is we've always been a very technologically uh, a, a company focused on technology mm -hmm. so um, always investing heavily in technology and so um, you know uh, gone are the days of the tape-based workflows and, and uh, we're in the file-based system now from capture to delivery. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're working with a lot of digital cameras. Um, we do a lot of work for online distribution um, channels. So, you know, films come to us from the major studios. They, they go through our process of quality control and uh, mm -hmm. we put them, we uh, deliver them. So, and we deliver uh, material all over the world. So uh, we're, we've always been very uh, focused towards technology and that's, that's simply the digital world these days. Great. So.
My last question for you is you got your training and most of your education in Las Vegas, if I'm correct. Yep, and right. AFI here in Los Angeles. Sure. Did so. you know that you were going to have to be based in Los Angeles? Was there any other place that you could have had a successful career, what you're doing besides Los Angeles? You know, um, it is a nice thought sometimes to think of, okay, I, am I going to be a big fish in a small sea or a small fish in a big sea? Mm -hmm. You know, in Los, Ange Las Vegas was a great undergraduate experience majoring in film. Our department when I went was about 90 students. Um, now it's over 500. But uh, it was a very good, well-rounded film education and I did a lot of production work in Vegas after graduation. I did everything from PA jobs to location scouting to camera work. Um, and you know, there, there is an industry in Las Vegas, but really mm -hmm. someone gets out of the film school there, they, they know, okay, LA's only four hours away and right. that's really where the opportunities are and you know despite all the challenges and that Los Angeles has and California has I think that this is the hub of the industry you know um, Los Angeles and New York you know even even though runaway production is rampant I mm -hmm. still think um, this is where the industry is this is where the opportunities are so it was a matter of you know not if but when am I gonna move to Los Angeles <laughs> And um, it was simply a matter of applying to AFI and getting in wow. that actually got me down here. So, and um, here we are 13 years later. <laughs> okay, Dylan, thank you for your time. Thank you.